got some doors. We're going to just move between a level, and there we go, in a new level. Super easy, super simple. So we're just going to go to Fab and type in doors. Then we're going to find assortment of doors by Kim Boars. That's me. And that's how I know this project will be free forever. So you don't have to worry about it. I'm going to click add to project and that's going to add a bunch of doors, but it's going to add a door that is split, which is why I want it. So once we've got the doors file, what well, really all we're getting the doors file for is I've already split these door frame and door middle and that's what I really want. I just didn't want to waste time doing that. So we're going to right click blueprint class, get an actor and this will be our BP level changer. And then we're going to write, we're going to go to file and create a new level of an open world. And then we're going to open up BP level changer, add in our static mesh. Select it, go to uh, static mesh on the right and select door frame. And then you can leave this blank like a rustic open door, or you can add a new static mesh and put in the door middle. And then if we come up here, we can rotate it around. And then if we add in a box collision, and we can just make that wider and thinner and taller so 75 17 and 106 will probably be good values and then we move that more to the center and up a bit in the event graph if we right click on box we can add an event on component begin overlap and then if we right click we can open world open level by object reference get this level drag it off and promote it to a variable and then select the level here and make it instance editor and expose on spawn and then get level drag it out into the world and say get level and we want to make sure it is valid but also we want to check if the other actor equals the player so drag out equal equal and then this bottom one get player character and then if both these are valid, so one an and variable. And we want to make sure that's true. So we want to go to a branch. So drag off on the red pin, press B and a branch will appear. So if that's true, then we just want to open the new level. In our new world, we're going to drag out this door. Now select it, go to details, get level. And we want our third person map just hit. And now it's like if we duplicate that, then you could have different levels. So you can go to different levels if you want to. And you can change the mesh. So static mesh. I'm going to change this to uh, this doorway here. It's probably a better mesh than that, to be fair. So change that to this one and we can like just get rid of get rid of that so now if I went through this door I would end up in a different level if I went through this door I'd end up in a different level so we'll play from here and now we're in this level there we go easy as that super simple thanks for watching